Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Friday the weekend. Yay! Yay. Long weekend! Yay! Let's turn down our volume just a little bit. Okay. Um, there may be glitches, there may be audio weirdnesses, <laughs> but I hope not because I've installed some new equipment. Ooh. And also, it's very hot, and we had some equipment oh, failure like, today. It's so like, it's like 500 degrees. I had <laughs> I had to uh, do a bunch of cord rearranging, panicky. So that's why the show's starting a little bit late. If you're watching Twitch, if you're on YouTube, ignore all this because mm -hmm. you watch it whenever you want. Yeah. Um, so we have three 2600 games today. Yay. We're going to be playing Mortal Kombat 2600 by Ivan Zerlis. And scissors, rock, paper, in that order. Not rock, uh, paper, scissors. Scissors, rock, scissors, paper, rock, card paper. game mm. by Alberto, uh, aka Jab. And we'll be playing Board Quest. Board Not Quest. Not as in a board game. Okay. Uh, as in board, board. I'm bored. Board Quest, mm. yes. Very nice. Uh, by Akari Yojimbo, uh, Rick, Par Rick Pryor. And we'll be doing an After Dark today. Mm -hmm. uh viewer's choice of Ooh. an activision game Ooh, so, any activision game that we have <laughs> any activision game not, not well, that I we guess. have um yeah. it, i have a bunch of them not all of them Ooh. um that we have not got the patch for of course okay, fair not enough. just any activision game um that has that have patches as well mm -hmm. um so hopefully the uh audio sounds good because i have I think I talked about this last show a little bit. Viewer's choice. We I switched. Think this. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, within reason. Viewer's choice of the choices that I give you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because I switched out from the internal audio card, okay. which was running through a mixing board mm -hmm. like this, which was huge Let's and bulky see. and very big, though. Causes heat um, yeah. to a very small little box, which I did open last episode. Oh, yes, that's right. And yeah. I hooked it all up. And I've also run the Atari Vox through it as well. Mm -hmm. And I've set the level so they should be good. Um, so right now, it should be a lot cleaner. Mm. Um, so because it's going into it and it's going digitally into the computer. Okay. Um, so it's much better and louder. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Yay. <laughs> uh, audio, very good. Five hours of laser, laser blast. blast. <laughs> uh, that's a possibility. <laughs> Uh, I think the short game is not five hours. The long game is five hours. A million points. I can't remember how the how long the hundred thousand points is of oh. Laser Blast. Mm. I'm not sure. Oh God, that would be boring. One day we're gonna have to do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it'd probably be the last patch because that's like the longest patch to get. Mm -hmm. um, so this is no more in use. Thank goodness. Throw it out. Uh, out the window it goes. And um, also using it for recording vocals for music. Uh, nice. soonish nice. should be good um, so hopefully it sounds better or at least not worse mm -hmm. yes no nothing okay we have a package to open are you did you do, <laughs> you the do have something twitch subscribers oh yes and Let's, the people in the chat and the people in the chat thank you we have not done the twitch subscribers of which we are very thankful they're down the uh, uh, right hand side of Tanya to yeah. you um, they are 8 bit Swami, Alan the Fur, Arms, Garcoda, Atari HB, Our Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chive, Coconut, Dan, ABC, Drexel, Fat Bees, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jedek, Kaya, Johnny WC1, You're at a Carl G, Kev, Kelly Crocker, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Miss Command, FK Smith, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Vix, Muddy Funster, Near, Yonder, Nyander, New Person. Uh, Pack Rap VG, Kohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Recurrent Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, yay! yay! Your name's on I the list. She Hurrah. supports the show. <laughs> uh, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, uh, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan K, TM Events, Trek M, D, and nice. just at the top of the show, somebody resubscribed yes. as well. It was Carl, Carl G. G, who I did say, so they were resubscribed before their name went off the nice. list. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. How many months was that? Where was it? 22 months. Wow. Craziness. Mm -hmm. Craziness. And Pack Rat Richard, <laughs> just in time. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you too. And I want to thank everybody watching live and on YouTube, of course. But yes. the live people are Pack Rat VG, Charles Reese, 
Ground Trooper, Arena Foot. Welcome, Arena Foot. Uh, he said, every the past like months, we've been doing Atari 7800 games on Friday. Oh, Coincidentally, no. Coincidentally. And, um, and he usually can't watch on Tuesday. So and he, he misses likes the, the 2600. He misses the 2600. So oh. today is for him. This is for Arena Foot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Charles Whelan, Miss <laughs> Command, Nostalgic, uh, Atari 2600 Dude. Carl G, Crossbow 777, Mike Soul, Dan ABC, uh, and everybody, oh, Prow 7, Neo Media 1974, and everybody else who is lurking. Nice. Oh, there's Prow 7. Yeah, some people can't watch on Tuesdays. Mm. Some people can only watch with Darcy, so they're forced to watch Darcy <laughs> in Europe. Darcy in the middle of the day. Yep. Yeah. Um, and if you'd like to support the show and get your name on the list, mm -hmm. um, just Mm -hmm. Subscribe with Amazon Prime and link it to your Twitch Prime like Packrat VG did. Mm -hmm. And you'll get your name on the list and mm -hmm. be a supporter. Or you can just follow us on Twitch and be alerted to Whenever the show. We, yeah, exactly. Or you can subscribe to YouTube and watch it on YouTube. Exactly. There are a thousand and fifteen of you. Yeah. <laughs> and and hundreds as well on, a thousand on and 15. Twitch. Yeah. Is that what we're up to now? Uh you can't tell. It'll switch to one point zero two when it gets to thousand and twenty. Gotcha. A thousand and twenty. Yeah. So we'll 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 watch that, mm -hmm. and Catman Two D's lurk lurk lurks. Yeah. Um, so we have a poll question uh, today. This is not the game we're playing later. No, no. this is a different poll okay. question. Okay, that's fair. Um, it is. Mm. Let's start it. Is it working? Yeah. There we go. Mm. Uh, it is a question that I, I, I can't. Somebody brought it up, or we were talking about it the other mm. show. Are you better at video games now mm. or back in the day? Yeah. Uh, I think you were saying, oh, much worse now. Yeah. Um, I would say that's true. <laughs> I would say that's true. <laughs> um, you, and you said it was due to not playing them as much, not as having as much time. Uh, or not as not having as much time to play one specific game, right? Because you were talking about Battletoads and you'd put hours and hours oh, and hours Oh, God, in. yeah. I well, yeah, we're we're all like sufficiently into adulthood at this stage in our lives, so <laughs> there's just a lot of other things by demanding our, you, our time. You by know? our YouTube stats, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put one, yeah, uh, because I am actually probably playing. Wow, more? I can't say more. A more a bigger variety of video games. You're now. You're, you're figuring out strategy in a lot of games because you're playing yes. a whole bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at least the same. Mm. Um, but I think I'm better now. Better at some, worse at others. Yeah. Well, that evens out to the same then. It, t it also depends two. on the type of game. It does, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, specific games? No, because I don't play them 10 hours a day anymore. Yeah. Um, mm. and later on, we're going to get the, uh, crowd, crowdsourcing, which, uh, Activision patch mm. we're going to go for next. Okay. I'm going to read off the ones that we don't have yet. Okay. This does not mean we're going to... Oh, Ricardo Pim! Thank you for Yay. subscribing thir for 13 months in Excellent. a row. Or at least 13 months. Mm -hmm. um, this does not mean we're going to play these games. I'm going to limit it to some of these games because some of them are... Are you going to do a poll? Torturous. Uh, probably. Okay. I'll narrow them down to the ones you can choose from. Yeah, maybe 10 or something like that? Maybe less than that. Okay. Um, there's about 20 on the list I need. Some of them are like higher levels of patches. Mm. Uh, crack pots, we have tried that. Uh, decathlon, I have not tried that in the show. There's three levels: bronze, silver, gold. I have to be right back. Sorry. Bye. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> no, no, I'm right here. <laughs> Bye. See you in an hour. Um, dolphin, which we have the lower version of the patch done. Dragster, which we have not done at all. Enduro, uh, which we have not done at all. Grand Prix, which we have uh, tried and not succeeded. Very close. Uh, Hero, which we've tried and not gone close, because that's hard as hell for me for some reason. Um, Kaboom, which we've tried and mm -mm. it's hard as hell. Laser Blast, which we have not tried because I'm scared how long it takes. <laughs> I don't know how long 100,000. If somebody could look up on a YouTube video, yeah. how long the 100,000 on Laser Blast. I know Laser Blast a million points takes like five hours. Wow. That's that's a torturous one. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be an after dark just way in the future. Mm. <laughs> Probably the last one ever. 
that I'll do. Uh, Pitfall <laughs> 2, which we have not attempted. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Private Eye, Super Sleuth, not attempted. Uh, Robot Tank, level 2 and 3, we've got the first one. We got close to the second one. Space Shuttle, which we have not attempted. I'm not going to put that on the list because it involves an overlay, a ton of controls, and we'll do that at some other point. So there's two Space Shuttle ones. And then Star Master, uh, there's two left. I've got the first one. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. <laughs> he was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. Scratch I, the head. It's just what I need. It's a very warm cat on my lap right now, but... What's BS? What's BS? <laughs> Somebody says that's BS. Okay. Um, okay. On to the mail while you guys keep voting. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. Look at this great cat. I'm guessing it's a limited run games because it's right size and the right type of package, but they used a different delivery service. Oh, um, I do like the purple package. But they are in the U.S. I, I do. Um, so it's possible. Yeah, it is very nice. It is nice. It's possible they've just switched over to another okay. delivery service. Oh, I, I can't get up now to show Prow what I'm drinking. It's called Dagrad. I can see that. Burnabarian, Burnabarian Ale, which is from Burnaby. Oh. So it's not meant to BC. be. Yeah. Here. Barbarian Ale, but that's not what it is. Belgian style table beer. Okay. Brewed in British Columbia. There yep. you go. Uh, what did you miss, D-Train? Uh, a little bit. Not much. Um, so this is... Yes, it is... Mm -hmm. No, it's not... Lim oh, it is limited run games. Uh, for the PlayStation 4, it is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, which sounds like a Castlevania title. It does. But it's not a Castlevania <laughs> okay. title. Yeah, fair enough. It is a Castlevania type game. Obviously, they are... Mm. Let's, uh, I open it up because I do play all of them. People resell them instantly on the limited limited runs. Well, ones. you wanna you wanna do it to make double money? The then price? Yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I buy them to play them. Oh, gosh, um, this cat. So there it is. So. I'm looking forward to playing this. Oh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon two. I missed the two in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Castlevania type game. Looks awesome. Looks like fun. Uh, looking forward to playing that. So. Uh, we have a lot of news today. Mm -hmm. This could be a... The beer is very good in this 28.5 degree room right now, so <laughs> it is hot, hot in here, and I have a cat on my lap. <laughs> what are you doing? It's clearly not too hot for him. Okay. Okay. Uh, the news. Um, Kix is coming to the 2600. Which is awesome. Have you ever played Kicks? Uh, uh, remind me. That. No. Really? No, I don't it's think so. It's one of those games that... The name sounds familiar. ...has been put on every oh, single... Oh, no, I have. I have, I have, I have, I have. Yeah, yeah. So, this yeah. is coming from Champ Games. And oh. they just declared that it is changing from a uh, proof of concept mm -hmm. into a work in progress. Mm -hmm. It's been a year since I worked on this, and this week I was inspired to pick up the Kicks proof of concept, proof of concept, and see if I can get it to a point where there's an official work in progress. Nice. He declared it a work in progress like minutes later. <laughs> um, added in option to use three color uh, playfield blend technique for solid lines, similar to Ladybug Arcade. We'll check check that out in a second. Can be disabled using the difficulty switch for those sensitive to shimmer. It doesn't exactly flicker. Uh, all paths now white, uh, combo orange blue, so they're distinct from the fi uh, filled areas. Uh, yeah, if you look it up, it is pronounced kicks. Kicks, like, like K I X or K I C K. -K -S. Yeah, like as in shoes, your kicks. Yeah, yeah. but I, I bet a lot of people pronounced it quicks because well, it's a Q and there is no. Yeah. Are there any words worth a Q that's pronounced with a K sound? Well. Q. Q. Yeah, the actual letter, but probably not no, any no, words. No, no, Q U E. Oh, yes, it is. Q U E Q U E U E or Q U E in the U.S. I think. So yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, all uh, sparks follow the path as they're drawn. Still need to fix this, so I'll eventually make them way down in the open area. Updated the draw logic so lines do not intersect and no adjacent lines to existing paths can be drawn. Updated controls so you now tap the button to draw fast, mm -hmm. or press and hold the button to draw slow. I'll be adding a Genesis gamepad two button support soon, where one button will be for fast draw and the other one will be slow draw. Add in the flood fill routine with proper detection of what area to fill. 
It always fills the area where there's no kicks. I guess that's the bad guy. You're not the kicks. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll read up on the lore when it's our turn to play it on the show. Mm -hmm. When there are two kicks and they're split, the level end with a two times split kicks bonus. Not implemented yet. Added in a preliminary fuse. Oh, quoi. It's not really a No, k Quebec, but... Oh, depends but how you pronounce Quebec, it. Quebec, in French, the Q-U would always be a K. It would k. be a hard K. And in English, it's quoi. It's like a different... Quoi. K all yeah. sound. Added in uh, preliminary fuse appears to start the path if you stop movement and follow the path. Blah, 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 blah. You can read that on your own. <laughs> um, so it draws with two different colors and your paths are drawn with white and those are all done with play field. And how he accomplishes that mm -hmm. is how he did it in Ladybug. So you have the orange color, the blue color, and then the orange and blue layered on top going at... So there's three frames orange frame blue frame mm. yeah two frames orange and blue frame yeah so there's just orange just blue and then orange and blue over top of each other it's very very cool um and it looks like your draw you draw with the blue your outlines are with white which is orange and blue and they fill in with alternating orange and blue so it mm. looks nice like that and he's got the little sparks there he's got the kicks going there mm uh and he's got the player character yeah and always the worry i think with implementing this game was that it wasn't uh high enough resolution horizontally because he's using play fields so there's only yeah. 40 across yeah um but i think it looks amazing yeah and is definitely enough resolution to have you know good strategy yeah and difficult gameplay because you yeah. just speed things up and those can go all crazy yeah it's an incredible implementation of the play field and there have been so many games now using full screen play field and this is one to add to the mix like mm. the one we we're just the oh, when the test the test uh, the test thing yeah like when hop yes yeah, when hop. from andrew davy yeah um yeah and oh, amazing background. turbo yeah. arcade also using full screen play yeah. fields 60 frames a second yeah yeah and also xevious which is yeah. a scrolling full screen play field full, as well yeah yeah so there's a lot of uh ideas being implemented where you couldn't do it before using play field mm -hmm. Yes, a ground turbo, another impossible 2600 game that John has made possible. Mm -hmm. I think there's like one left, Tempest. But that one is, you'd have That'd to come up with something very, to make it work very well. clever. Yeah. And I don't think it would involve Playfield because it's just the original one that they tried to make in the um, back in the day for Tempest. Yeah. Used Playfield and it was just a mess of chunk. Oh, no. It was just not good. Yes, it Tempest. was very <laughs> bad looking. Yeah. So I don't know how you'd even do that. Some probably offset ball yeah drawing like just a bunch of ball all over the screen uh, alternating lines mm. so it's kind of sparse the uh the outline of the play field might be might work that's the best i can think of doing it. um so uh uh once i have a playable work in progress yes i've decided to upgrade it uh to work in progress i'll be sure to send it over to zph if you wouldn't mind playing it on their show. Now, it's a great burden oh, yeah. to do this yes. for John. Huge burden. Every time he's on asking show. me to play these <laughs> premieres of his games. <laughs> and it's just it's awful. Really yeah. terrible. And we have to slog through these awful games. Yeah. They're just tedious. Mm. Um, no, it's awesome. It's, yeah. uh, it's as I'll gladly play it on ZPH yes. when it's ready. Can't wait because I love this game. Yeah. I've played this game a ton. And yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, we did play a version of it, I think. Did we play a 7800 version? We, of Kicks, there have been a couple Something. of attempts. I, I know I, I, I did play it reasonably the, recently. We might have played a 7800, but I don't Maybe. think so. There have been a couple of attempts on the 2600, so we'll go over Maybe that an, an on attempt. the day. Yeah. So mm. here's what the game looks like with the flicker off. Uh, like drawing, uh, drawing alternating. Lines. Yeah. So you've got three alternating lines. Nice. Uh, the white orange and blue mm. um john really asks a lot of you guys. i know he does <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your service so funny yeah uh, uh kicks was raster mm. oh i bet kicks would have been 
awesome looking in a vector, but it was mm. probably too much to draw Maybe. because you have to, you have fill, to maintain that screen you have to too, right? Fill in the the blocks. Yeah, in. but and you have to maintain what's yeah. been filled in. I don't know if that would work very well with vector. No, no, you would have yeah. to like draw diagonal lines or something to show it filled in. But it would require a lot, and I don't know. Well, that's the problem. The speed of drawing it would, would become a problem. That's yeah. the issue. Yeah. You have to draw every line, yeah. every frame, yeah. like constantly do, 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 yeah. going all over the place. You'd yeah. have to have two separate beams. Or it would it would do like horizontal and vertical yeah. back and forth or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. So that looks great, even without the flicker. Yeah. Like that looks really nice. It looks like um, looks like a CRT mm. with the black lines on it. Yeah, it looks great. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Champ Games, um, they have just released their ROM versions uh, for Zookeeper and Avalanche for sale. So people who don't like boxes, uh, you can now download and purchase the ROMs, which just came out, like just got delivered. So the, the release time, well, the release time is different. The, the acquiring time of mm. getting the boxes and getting the ROMs was greatly reduced this time mm. uh and they are twenty dollars and fifteen dollars oh, respectively cool. yeah and fifty percent off if you did buy the boxes oh so nice avalanche is just seven dollars and fifty cents very nice for the ROM. Very super nice. cheap yep and bad um <laughs> <laughs> uh so another big cool thing that happened is that jesse from uh slash crossbow it's in the chat mm -hmm. uh today uh, installed the new 7800 BIOS developed by Revenge and Pac-Man Plus, Bob mm. DeCrescenzo. And he installed it today. And let me show you the result of that. Let me just set it up one second. Because he sent a video to me of... Let's see if I can switch it fast enough. There we go. There's the new Ooh. BIOS opening screen. Ooh. And <gasps> Kiloparsec. Kiloparsec. Yeah. <laughs> so there is no. Nice. Uh, oh, can't click there. So there is no cartridge, as you can see. And he's turning yeah. on the 7800. And that's the new screen. Nice. And there's the game. And a big thumbs up. That's right. I'll pause it there. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to do an installation video. Oh, cool. For everybody to check out uh, very soon, he told me. And you can find that over at Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, that's his uh, YouTube channel. Mm. So I'll post that in the chat. You should definitely subscribe to that because he does a lot of very interesting videos there. Mm. Um, as you can see, mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, he's installed in Television RGB, uh, in Television... Uh, a YUV component installation on uh, Intellivision 2. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a lot of very great instructions uh, on how to mod your systems there. Mm -hmm. If you're brave enough with a soldering gun. Yep. Yep. And he, he previews things as well. He's nice. got the Quantari there, does Vectrex stuff, Yay, a good Vectrex. variety of things. Nice. Yeah. And he does uh, live streams, plays games too. So there you go, Ivory Tower Collections, go check it out. Um, so the Pokemax is out of stock for the Dragonfly cards. So wow, if you missed quick. it, you missed it. You missed it, you missed it. Yeah, it's it's gone. Uh, and he's not uh, sure that he's gonna be able to get any more. So uh, this post on July 21st, uh, caution, as of today, the Pokemax is out of stock. Uh, perhaps I can still get two to three pieces, but that is not certain. Um, and he said just down a bit, let's see, where's his next? Uh, I will have the Dragonfly cartridge in the YM module all the time. The problem is the Pokemax at the moment. Mm. So you can still order the Dragonfly, Dragonfly? cart without the Pokemax installed. Okay. But we have... Batari to the rescue with his hokey chip. Mm. Uh, he says, uh, Dragonfly should work with a hokey chip. No reason why I can't think it wouldn't. It hasn't been tested yet. Mm. So, caution. Mm. Because the hokey just came out. And I think they've arrived at Al, but I don't think I've 
heard confirmation yet. They should have a couple days ago. Uh, dual pokey should also work. Mm -hmm. so for compatibility with it, existing dual pokey stuff, some wiring may need to be done to connect the Hokey's A4 pin to wherever the Pokey Max's A4 pin connects to. However, Hokey can support dual Pokey without needing that extra pin, and it works on existing hardware where connecting A4 isn't practical, and to support existing Pokey boards and hardware, more details come about this in time. It's possible to update, update game code to support both methods of dual Pokey simultaneous with minor changes to game code. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as Kovox goes, which is like straight PCM samples mm. being played, I believe. Oh, yeah. It's a simplistic PCM device that has no buffer or output oscillator. The Hokies PCM AD, a PCM about output driver, employs a ring buffer and output oscillation for user 78 programming. But I suppose I can allow the buffer and oscillator to be shut off if reverse compatibility with Kovacs is desired. Shouldn't be that hard to do. So we'll see as this progresses how, what you'll have to do to get the Hokie compatible. See if hopefully games won't have to be altered so there's not different versions um hopefully it's just a wiring thing or maybe no wiring whatsoever and it could be an option in the in the dragon flag because there is a menu for lots of options so you nice. could have like a switch it's like oh i've installed a pokemax or i've installed a hokey chip mm -hmm. and that would be great because he's already got options like that um Uh, oh, if I knew they were doing reader submissions, I would have sent a video replacing the V on my, <laughs> v on my keyboard. Oh, no. What? You need the V key on your keyboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is quite a quite an alteration. <laughs> um, and also, there's an update on uh, the Concerto firmware and the Hokey. Uh, will Hokey units be available for developers to buy for testing purposes? Uh Oh, that's uh, somebody asking. Yes, 48K Pokey Sport is 100% in firmware. In my spare time, I'm working on a major firmware update to address this and other issues. The major firmware update will be out before the Hokey, as it has other improvements to Concerto's Pokey support code. Um, but I probably can do an interim release that just fixes the 48K plus Pokey issue, and I could probably, I probably should so I can test Danger Zone. Hokey will be available for developers as soon as I get the in-circuit user programmable working so people can update their firmware and install new sound drivers as they're developed. Right now, the only way to reprogram Hokey is via proprietary tools. It'll probably take me a few weeks to get this sorted out. Hokey does not yet support EXO as I have not figured out how the weird two-tone modes work. But the documentation is there and schematics exist, so as expected, as a matter of time. I do intend to make Hokey work with all the weird Pokey modes. Depending on when you release EXO, I may or may not have figured things out by then. So hmm. Some information about hmm. that. Uh, can't type my name without it. Mm -hmm. The V? <laughs> no, not this name, anyway. No. Uh, and then early. Carl G being hilarious. <laughs> I never got around to replacing mine. <laughs> uh -huh. That sentence, it, sentence uh -huh. needed a lot more Vs to make it, <laughs> make it really oh. good. But that uh, one's good. <laughs> Okay, so that's plowing through the news. We got through it. So the first game we're going to be playing is Mortal Kombat 2600. There have been a number of Mortal, other Mortal Kombat games. We played some on the show. Really? But this one's looking really good. Hmm? We have. <laughs> <sighs> so hot. It is hot. 28. We'll keep uh, keep you up to date Ugh. In, this, in this room. I think I'm going to have to put out the fan. Have to deal with a bit of hum or a something. A little bit of hum. Actually, that fan's pretty quiet. As long as you just have it on something that doesn't make a... Yeah, that, that's, that's actually better. pretty good. That's not bad. It is warm. Oh, it is warm. It I might be going back for another warm. beer very soon. <laughs> okay, so grab the joystick mm -hmm. if you could. Actually, I need to plug in the other joystick. But first, I'm going to turn on the 2600. And this should give you guys an idea of what the Atari box sounds like. And you guys let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. I think I got it right. Atari box left. Ready. So how, how is that in comparison to the, the loudness of our voices? Mm -hmm. Or normally what you hear? Yeah. Quieter? Yeah. Louder? Louder, quieter, good. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? You, you Bueller? Start, talking. <laughs> start, start saying numbers. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Continue. <laughs> it needs to be at the same time as the Atari box. Okay, ready? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Good. ten. <laughs> it, louder and better. Maybe half your volume. It's quiet, yeah. but is it enough? It's quieter than you, but it's fine. Yes, a bit quieter, someone said. <laughs> okay. All right. This is it, the problem with asking subjective questions. That's right. It's fine. Okay. Nobody said it's terrible. <laughs> okay, so I because I have to unplug it because this is a two player game. So I thought I'd test that out beforehand. Uh, it's quiet, it's loud, it's fine. <laughs> we don't know. I mean you can't really tell until we actually play it with something. Okay. So if you could Select today's game, Mortal Kombat 2600, please. This is made by Ava Ivan Zerlis. Oh, could you start the game, please? Mm. I was showing off my bracelet. You said we were playing Mortal Kombat, so I have my Bloody Skulls bracelet, oh. as I figured, you know. Show it to the not? cat cam. The cat cam? Yep. Here. Oh. It's just all oh, bloody. Don't you can see it all that well. Ah, you're like skulls. It's a little hard. I'm a little close, maybe. Uh, well, it's not focusing on it, so you have to put it right in the middle and put your hand behind it. <laughs> There's a slight delay when I move it, so... You put your hand behind it so it stops focusing on everything else. Uh, now it's focusing on my hand. That's uh, okay. That's fine. It's just a series <laughs> of bloody skulls. Excellent. Garnets. <laughs> Garnets. Uh, nothing that fancy. <laughs> just stamped out. So this was posted on June. This was posted <laughs> on June 29th, and it says, "Hello all, I'm making a port of the first Mortal Kombat for the Atari 2600. The work is in progress, but now I've finished a playable demo. I'll add more stuff like more characters, a single-player mode, the tower, etc. Uh, this don't press anything yet. Uh, this is a Mortal Kombat prototype for the Atari 2600 Atari VCS developed during the Retro Platform Jam number two." There are currently four characters available, Raiden, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Kano, Kano, for player one and player two. During the game title, you can change your character by using left or right, using the left or right buttons, okay. And with the reset switch, you can change the scene. To start the game, there must be a pressed fire button to player one and player two. The controls are simple, but we'll get to the controls when we get into the game. Look at that beautiful title screen, mm -hmm. all done by with Playfield, it's really nice and colorful. That's awesome. Okay, so press the button, please. Now we've got the. Don't have it yet for you guys. What? There you go. Mortal Kombat theme. Nice. And you've got the little characters down below. I know. So we should be able to <gasps> select them with left and right. Oh, very dark, some of them. I think it depends on the. Um, I would suggest to the to the programmer up and down should change the scene because now I have to get up. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. So it's multiple fighting arenas. Nice. <gasps> big statue. Statue. Kind of a do dojo. Dojo, maybe. Yeah. Outdoor, ar outdoor arena. Yeah. Um, a mm. pink table? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, outdoors? Some floating green clouds? <laughs> that looks like a big statue as well. Yeah. Or like a... Um, Caves? Temple or something. We'll do this one. Yeah. That one's cool. That one is cool. Yeah. Uh, general rule for developers, don't make James get up. Yeah, if you follow that rule, <laughs> it'll all be good. Yeah. Okay, so you picked your character? Yeah. Okay, so press the button. Oh. You have to hit start? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. oh, we both have to press the button. At the same time? Oh, uh, that makes sense, because you have okay. to be ready. Okay. What is going on? So the controls, yeah. up is jump. You got that? Yeah. Uh, left and right is walk. Well, your feet are 
curled under you like a cat. Uh, if the character is not jumping, uh, if the character is not jumping, fire equals punch. But he's kind of stuck. Okay. Now try he's the floating. try the punch. He he floats. Try the punch. Okay. Try move and punch. Hmm. Oh yeah, mine punches. Mine makes a different. Oh. You get they stay. Oh, mine's punching properly now. Kind so of. Yours, yours. Pun okay, move, move to here so you can see it. Mine kind of punches once in a while. Mine. No, oh, mine's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, if the character is jumping, you press fire and it's a flying kick. Ah. Uh, down and fire is your power. I'm not trying to beat you. I'm just trying to... <laughs> There's oh. my power. Ah. There we go. And uh, fatality is down, forward, and fire. I wonder if it's down, forward, fire. Yeah, that... Ah, nice. There we go. Okay. We've got the controls. Mortal Kombat! Oh, my God. You froze me. Yeah. Am I Sub-Zero? I am Raiden, and you are Sub-Zero. Ow! Ah. Oh, a little bit of screen flip in there. Kicking my ass. Gotcha. Oh, someone at the top there. Oh, it must be who won? A point? I got a couple of hits on you. You got, yeah. Sometimes it gets. It gets frozen. kind of frozen. I've noticed that too. And you can't do your moves like constantly in a row. Like I punch a yeah. bunch and then it just stops. Oh! Winner! For your fatality, down forward punch, down forward button. Oh, you did it! I turned into a pile of goo. Nice! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's play a different character and a different <laughs> scene. Press pile button. of goo! Press button. Which one? Maybe something brighter so we can see... That's bright. Yeah. That's... There. That, there. that's good. Okay. Okay. So who is who here? Who is this guy? That's a good question. The crowd will have to tell me. Because <laughs> I don't know. I'll be the blue guy if you want. That's what I was. Oh, okay. I was Sub-Zero, so if you want to do that guy, okay. I don't think. Okay, press button. Hold on. It's hot. I need to drink. Have a sip. Yeah. <laughs> you need good a drink break. Good idea. Ah, drink break. Mm. Kano, the gray dude? Kano. Kano? Okay. Oh, I was up there. Weird. Oh, nice. you got me as I fell. No! Oh, I couldn't make my... Whoa, whoa. Oh, I like Kano. I don't know who this dude is, but he's he's good. Oh, he haven't really hit me much. I've been... Oh, now he hit me. Oh my god, I'm freezing me a bunch. Ah. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, come here. It drew me over. Watch Did it. it? Do it again. No, just down in the bottom. Doesn't. See, it drew me over. Oh, but I didn't, I didn't, didn't take do advantage anything. of it, but. No, you shouldn't have because I let you do it. <laughs> Is that how it works now? Yes. Well, I told you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Mortal Kombat game. <laughs> oh, a little flippy. Needs to watch his line count. I'm gonna dodge that one. I think it needs. <gasps> did I get you? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah did. you did. I think you're getting prioritized because your joystick won or something. Lies. 
Oh no! Oh, you set me on fire. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. No, when we're you touching each freeze. other. You just freeze. You just kind of freeze. You're too close. No. Why doesn't it work? It doesn't let me hit you. No, Draws you in, but I think I have to move away. Yeah, when we're on top of each other, nothing happens. Which is kind of weird. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you move? Ah, no! Ah! <laughs> ah! Did I get it? I got it. Oh, no, I did. See, there's a little oh, sun in what? my corner. Oh, what? I have two, though. Maybe it's best out of three. Maybe, maybe we... Oh, it's possible. Ah! Oh, that kind of worked. Ow! Maybe I have to jump and hit you. Maybe. Oh, no, not again. Oh, I think I've almost got my power figured out. Oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, I went you past want... the screen. I'm almost dead. Ah, no. Oh, you got me. Ty. No, no, you have to kill me, don't you? No? Yep. Yeah. You move away from me. There, there we, we go! go. Fatality! Oh. Maybe some gravity. It is yeah. very floaty. It's like... You're like, woo! You're like, you're like, um, in that position in the air. That floating, like, <laughs> like, cross-legged cross -legged yeah. position. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, it's a good, it's a good start. The backgrounds are pretty cool um the characters are nice but i think if he just doubled the size like mm. just doubled it straight up doubled it would be much better looking mm -hmm. and you'd still have a lot of room on the screen matrix floating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh pulled out his heart that's what it is mm. oh very nice um i don't know what else more responsive sound effects so you know what's happening a bit better because it's hard to tell when you're missing or when yeah he could have he could have i'm not sure whether it's flicker either because mm. he could have made that a missile um the heart uh player zero missile mm. and and the mush on the ground player one character it's still or player cool. zero character yeah still looks it's awesome little details that that make it right uh, very more, good start more animation the movements maybe yeah yeah that would help like a couple yeah. more frames yeah yeah very good start. Oh, it's very cool. Yeah. And and four characters to choose from. And all the backgrounds, all of those things add a lot to a game, I think, when it's just fighting, right? So It does. I like having all those all those options. The Atari what is it, the Atari box for finish him. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. You'd have to use the quad Atari or make it a one player game. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would have to be quite hard. If you could load up the next game. Alrighty. Scissors Rock Paper. Okay, this, this is, is a card by, game. This is by Alberto. Nice. Uh, it was posted July 3rd. These are all from this year. Yeah. All very recent. Uh, the, hi, this is my second Atari 2600 game. It is a simple and I hope funny card game where you play against the computer. Each player has three cards. Mm -hmm. uh, the deck has 36 cards, 12 scissors, 12 paper, 12 rocks. Who has the turn plays first. Select one of the three cards. And then the other player plays his card. Mm. The rules are simple. If two cards are equal, the turn doesn't change, and who played first gets one point. Mm. Oh. If two cards are different, the turn and two points goes to the player who played Beats. winning the card following these rules. Yeah. Scissors beats paper. Paper wins rock. Rock wins to scissors. Normal rules. So you picked paper, and so the... He won. He won. But you get to choose. What? Like, they had a rock, so you want paper. And you will get the two points, right? Oh. So now you have all scissors. So you 
I have no choice. I have no choice. He had a rock. Oh, right? Oh, so you're you see them. It's like, it's like it's like any of those card modern card games, right? It's like you have a deck of playable cards, but it's paper rock scissors. <laughs> and very interesting. It's not random, but it's also a little bit of random because mm. you do have I'm not sure what those points are yet. If you collect three of the same cards, you get a bonus. Oh. That's why you got a bonus. Nice. In a game, you can collect a maximum of, maximum of three bonuses, one for type, one for each type, and each bonus gives you three points at the end. So at the end of the game, you'll get extra points. So you just got another three for paper. Mm -hmm. Now you need to not use rock and get three rocks to get that last bonus. Uh, th all three bonuses at the end give you 10 points. At the end, a simple fire, fire to restart. On the left, there is your score, and on the right is a CPU score. Under the score, the bonus uh, collected will be displayed. Regards, Alberto. So you're one away from three rocks. So if you use paper, which is a good move... Yeah, but you, he's... He, oh, he, he gets went the first, points. so he gets the point. So you got so all three I rocks? Got all three, so I got all the bonuses. That was worth it. And this one, I have no choice. Because you got three rock. and a third points yeah. for that move, and he only got two. Yeah. So now you can just do whatever. Now I can beat them. But it, it's funny. So I guess this is kind of a card counting game too? Like, yeah. Can you count cards like Green Man? Yeah, Apparently. I can't. But this seems to be how you would play this game yeah. if I was... I'm not a card counter though. Because there's 12 um, scissors. Yeah. 12 paper and 12 So rocks. is the is the, is the computer go. counting the, the, the cards? Because they have an, a, an extremely unfair advantage if they are. <laughs> but it's true. It's, it's a card counting game. If you're counting cards... You know what's been playing, then you know what's left in the deck. The the computer wouldn't. I'm sure he wouldn't. No, I I cards. swear they just were. So they seem to know. I don't know. I don't know. That would be extremely unfair. Yes. Uh, reset doesn't do anything. Is my reset broken? Press the button. Okay, the button does it. <laughs> I think he updated that because he knew I was going to play it. <laughs> do you want to play? Oh uh, no, I'll play after you. One more. The house always wins, Charles Whelan says. Yes. The house always wins. So, rock. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you don't have a lot of time to get three of each. You just barely got all three bonuses. So you could get scissors. Might as well play yeah, rock. Yeah, but does the bonus really matter all that much? Yeah, yeah got, no, I would do that. You yeah. got ten. And he didn't. Yeah, but he still beat. He, beats, he still beat me. Well, see now I got a bonus. He would have beaten you even more if you didn't mm -hmm. by a lot. But you more. said there's only six of each, right? Uh, twelve of each. So you just got your scissors bonus. Yeah. Oh. oh. Twelve of each. Okay. Yeah. Never oh. Mind. Yeah. Twelve. Sorry. Yeah. Carl G says, clever idea for sure. Yeah, it's a very good twist on yeah. rock, paper, scissors. I never would have thought of turning like it a into a Magic the Gathering kind of. game. Well, it reminds me of, of like War. Like oh, that more. old card game War where it's like you each put up cards and win each turn. And um, I don't think that's ever been made for the 2600. Because yeah. you don't need suits for that. You just need... It's just numbers, I think. Just, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, it's just one, two, three, turn it over. One, two, three, yeah. turn it over. And you could use a button. Mm. Doom, doom, doom. And be two players. But there's lots of variations of war. Oh. Got, you got the point. You already got the scissors one. So I try and get rid of your scissors. Because you don't know what he has or what no. he's going to play. There are a lot of rocks left. I think the paper's pale. There is some oh, paper. There you go. Opportunity. Yeah. Oh, you're down to your last bits. Mm. Last two left. Oh, if you notice his name mm, he in the paper. bottom corner. Yeah, yeah, going, it's changing. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Yeah. That's very cool. Aha, I got your last one. And you win. Well, just by one. Oh, oh how? Because he. We both had bonuses. equal. He, that we was had equal weird. bonuses. Does that seem. Dodgy, maybe it is true the house always that wins. seemed a bit dodgy. Mm, the paper does look like a stairwell. It does. <laughs> I thought it was like a door when I first saw it. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's paper. <laughs> okay, so mm. I have two scissors. He has a rock. He gets the bonus points if I play the rock. Yeah, but the scissors you lose. That's true. 
So it's better to play the rock. Do you, I Plus, think he just gets one, but if you if he beats no. you, he gets two? Uh, yes. So you don't want to no. use paper. What is it? Here. Isn't it two? Let me see again. So, uh, 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 I should use scissors. Uh, do, 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 do. He gets the point again. Oh, and he's got three. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I know what he's got. Why? Oh, no, I don't know what he's got till he plays the next move. Because he just got three in a row. Oh, no, no. So it's all three paper he has. So if I use scissors... You get three bonus. And then I use scissors again. Oh, no, it is two he points. He has to have paper. And then he has still has one more paper. And I play first, I get the point. Yeah. Sorry. There is strategy, yeah. and you just missed it. No, t so two cards, if two cards are equal, the turn doesn't change, and the, and whoever plays first gets one point. Yeah. If two cards are different, the turn and two points goes to the player who wins. So you only get one if you match and you start it. Yes. You get two if you win. Okay, two so and one. you get more if you win. Yeah. Yeah, two and one. And then three for each bonus, or ten if you get all three, which is why I'm a little confused why I lost. Yeah, I, I thought we had the same. I thought I had one more than him, bonus. so we both should have had three. Right bonus. Yeah, so you can keep going once you're in the lead if you if if you just keep matching. But okay, did you miss my strategy thing? Yes, I did. Okay, what were you saying? He got a bonus point, mm. and he put up a paper because it was his turn. Mm -hmm. That means he has three paper, and then I proceeded to beat him three times in a row because I knew he oh, had three paper. Oh, because he got the bonus. Yep. He got a bonus point, and then he played. Gotcha. Okay, yep. yeah. Because it'll show his bonus, yeah. Uh, I wanted three paper. Paper, cover him. I know, but I wanted the three win. paper. Win, win. It's better to win. Bird in hand. Oh, I think I've only got the rock bonus, so I'll go for scissors. Oh! Yes. Now he should know that I have three scissors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's put enough AI in there. If you put the scissors up. Yes. So At that he point, he rocks, knows. Well, he knows what your other two are, but you could do paper he to put, paper. He put paper up. Unless he has three paper, which he could, because no. he's already got that he bonus. He didn't get the bonus. He already got the paper bonus. You don't, but don't you get it for getting three in a row? Not, you get all of three them? Three per. You have to get one for scissors, oh, one for rock, one okay. for paper. Well, cut through his paper then. Do it. Yeah, because I just got the scissors yeah. bonus. Now I need the paper bonus. Smoosh. Ah. Ah. Well, I'll use that. Yeah. Oh, uh, or the rock bonus. Or did you already get the rock bonus? I already got that. Bonus? I need the paper. No. You may never get enough. No, okay. oh, you've run out. Paper covers rock. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Not, I can't get the bonus. Yeah. I might as well go for the points. Yeah, you still get six six bonus. Now, let's watch this score. Okay. I have 15. He, they have 14. I have 14. He'll get three bonus. I'll get six bonus. Yes. Plus whatever Plus you get. Plus whatever here. Okay. Okay. I got the bonus for that. Okay. That seems right. But did it know. seem wrong when, when I did it? Because we did. both had the same bonus, and then we came up equal. I thought that Spock was one of those choices. <laughs> Dynamite. Yeah, he could Rock extend this out. Spock. Yeah. That would be good. Okay, I'm going to play one more. Because there is some... St at, at first, I didn't think there was any strategy. But there is a There's little, a little bit, bit of strategy. There's a little bit of strategy. Yeah, the bonus. Uh, the fact that you see the bonus for the other player actually gives you a lot of information. Yep. So, I have a rock rock. He's going to smash my scissors. I might as well just give him one point and go for the triple scissors. Mm. No, there's no sound for this, if you're wondering. <laughs> uh, he knows. He knows you're going for scissors. Uh, it's not worth it. Well. It is, is, did he go first? If no, I, you don't want to give him two. So, uh, you have no choice. No. <laughs> but what if I get scissors? Don't lose. So worth so you much more. A, you just start. Oh, okay. So he put up paper and he just got a bonus. That means he has three paper in a row. Which. So he just put it up. Yeah, but so then I'm it's going to get replaced. So you might as well win this one. 
Yes. Yeah. Because he went first. If I put on paper, that means he gets the point. Yeah, so you might as well... If I put scissors... Yeah. And then I play paper, I'll still get the point. But he also has a, a third... He got something replaced. So he could get that... What he got replaced oh, with scissors. True. So So you take a risk because you don't know what the third item is. It only it only works for the first... That's true. Kind of. Like, it, it, it tells you something. So you can take a risk. So far, both times he's played all three of his in a row. Yeah. I think he's just going... Yeah. Well, maybe not. You think there'd be some strategy. So if you threw a rock out, say you knew he had paper... Or not a rock. If you threw out scissors and yes. he played paper, you know he has two papers, but you don't know if that last one is, is something that'll be you. Yeah. Right? This game is too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> rock beats everything. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey from Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got the rock one now, don't yeah. I? Oh, nice. Paper, please. Papers, please. No. Paper. Uh, I don't want to. But you need to win. Oh, I think we still go for the scissors one. Yeah. Or did I get scissors? I, don't I can't know. remember now. Smush. Oh, oh, scissors, scissors, bonus. scissors to scissors. And, and now I just it. need. Oh no, they got it. Paper. Oh, I can't remember now. No. Smush. Give me paper. No. No. Oh, are we down? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going for point, getting my points. You're doing well. You've got more bonus. So. I do. And I get last play, mm -hmm. which means I have advantage. Yay! Which is a nice little twist on it, too. Mm -hmm. That if you play first, you have the advantage. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I do, too. Yeah. It's simple and fun. Simple. There's a slight bit of strategy. Yeah. You have to do a little bit of maneuvering. There's little bonuses. I like it. Mm -hmm. Very great game. Uh, I don't see any issues with it. It oh, works as works advertised. Well. <laughs> I think he's done. Yeah. Great job, Alberto. Paper just needs to be left <laughs> just justified. True. That would be better. <laughs> and he would go down like like this. Well, to us, you know, or just straight across. But he's got his. He's got it. Maybe it's in Chinese. You know. <laughs> Right? Because it's right justified. Is it? Chinese? Isn't it? Well, I don't know enough about... Uh... Chinese is bottom to top, right to uh, right to left, I believe. There's a bunch of languages that are right to left. Bottom to top. I think Arabic right. is right Arabic to left as well. Arabic is right to left, yeah. And Japanese, at least, as well. Yeah. And I'm guessing Chinese. So and Hebrew as well, I believe. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Uh. If I'm not mistaken. So... On to our last game. Grab the joystick. Please. Joystick grabbed. Oh. And start it up. Board Quest by Kerry Jimbo, uh, aka Rick Pryor in real life. Yes. May 29th, 2021, he put this out. It says Tor was playing, planning to play some Fortnite. But his PS5 is installing a massive system update. Hmm, system updates. Since he has time to kill, he thought he'd dig out, dig out his trusty Atari 2600 and play some of his old favorites. Nice. But it's been a while since the last time he hooked it up. And now his Atari stuff is scattered around the house. Oh, no. Gotta get organized, man. Come on, Tor. Before he can play, he'll have to find his VCS, mm. joystick, power supply, and game cartridges and bring them back to the TV. In this game, you control Tor. Move him through the rooms of the house to find everything he needs to play some Yars Revenge. Good choice. Mm -hmm. To collect each item, you need to finish a mini game. Well, eventually. Right now, there is only two of the mini games are in the game, and they're a little rougher on the edges still. You can just grab the power supply and cartridge without playing the mini game. Uh, once you have all four items, bring them to the TV and touch the TV. And that's it. The game ends. Let's start going to other rooms. There you go. Um, uh, you don't get a jewel-encrusted joystick or anything like that. 
This is still a work in progress. In addition to adding more mini-games, I want to improve the item location randomization, possibly add some sort of rating system that awards you stars when you finish based on how long it takes and how many times you have to play the mini-games. Maybe a fifth item, if I have a room and can think of something. Manual? Snacks? Oh, actually, both of them would be good, actually. Uh, Hebrew is indeed right to left. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Arinifoot, for posting a link to that. So that's where you need to bring all the items. To the DA. Yeah. I'm trying to put him on TV. <laughs> His face? Yeah. You can do it. His face probably just fits it. nice. Oh, now you've got it horizontally aligned. <gasps> Almost. Almost. Yay! Yep. Oh, there's the VCS. What am I doing? I and now it randomly places you somewhere else. What? I I oh there's the joystick. No, oh, that's a power adapter. You get that one for free. And it pairs the bottom. I think you get that one for free too. Yep. Yeah. You got the easy stuff. Spin on Sword Quest. Yes, that's what I was just about to say. So, this is very much like Sword Quest, the Sword Quest series. Okay. Earth air fire water mm -hmm. um which there was uh what am i doing shooting it oh big fail i don't i'm like you didn't say what i was doing on the uh it, it doesn't games. show it in the instructions oh okay uh just shooting them that one was shooting the okay. other one is moving up okay when it's disappeared when that block in the middle disappears Oh, this is I a good version of Sword it. Quest. Yes, it is. Sword Quest, move up, and you got hit. Did I? Yep, because oh, it God. appeared and hit you. It doesn't it give should, you much of a chance, does it? It should stay on the screen longer when you get hit, because it's like, what happened? Yeah. Sword Quest was a series of games. In each one, you would have to go through... Go up, 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 and... You just oh. missed it. Oh. So you have move. to run immediately. Almost right away. Uh, okay. Uh, each one had a huge prize. One had a crown. One oh, had... Oh, I remember. No, I remember uh, some documentary about What was that. it? A shield? Yeah. For the first person to finish the a game, scepter, right? A uh, scepter to solve the puzzle. But they didn't give all of them away. No, because it, it would, it would, the crate crash happened. And then the big mystery of where they went and like the, whether who they ended made, up with them, yeah. whether they were melted down or somebody's got them in their house. Someone totally has them in their house. Well, they were worth like actual money. They were yeah, made but of the gold person who jewels. has it is probably someone who. Uh... Okay, move up almost immediately. Go, yay! Okay, it's coming back down again. Oh, <laughs> you're not very helpful. Well, so I'm just trying to get to the top. Chalice. Do we have an artist to draw the pack in comic book? <gasps> Yes, we need that. In the old style of the comic books, for sure. This is already better than <laughs> the Sword Quest games. Some of them were okay. They were... Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh my god! Touching it pushes it up, too. You have to get it off the top of the screen. Almost. Yay! You got it! Yay! That's One more hard. to go. It's not hard. They speculated that Jack Tremail kept the sword. Oh. Uh, yep. Makes sense. That's why you're not going to see it until he dies. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> he so, died, he so, died a little while ago. Oh. Uh, but his sons might have it. Yeah, his sons are like... Go too uh, late. Nope. Ah, <laughs> Death. The timing. Death to you. You just have to run immediately. Yeah, he definitely should put in a minigame for all of them. And add two more items. The manual. And snacks. What else could he add snacks. in? Snacks. What else could he add in? Why do I want snacks all of a sudden? Um, a paddle. Because then he could play other games. Um, what else? Shades of Donkey Kong 3 of all things. The amulet was melted down, yeah. Oh, was I it? I think one person didn't get the reward, <gasps> although they won it. I can't remember. RF connector, yes. That is another one. Perfect. I'm sure we can get Nathan on that. It has to be drawn in this. Well, it doesn't have to be drawn in the, the old style Atari. Maybe you can do that. That would be a good challenge. It would be fun to get an artist to draw it in the original style of the... Uh... Okay, you ready? Okay, wait, wait. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. Oh, you go. You went straight up. Wow. 
Good job. And you have taken back all back to the TV. Can't remember which row it's in. Green? I thought it was green. Oh, are they color? Oh, oh they there's green, shades okay. of green, shades of blue. Oh, that'd mm -hmm. make it easier. I wasn't even paying attention. Can't remember now. Wasn't really paying attention. Smell something? I can smell the skunk. Oh, we have a skunk. A real skunk. In our skunk. neighborhood. We saw it. Yay, an exclamation's Yay. on the bottom. And we start over. Woo! What, what game does the exclamations when you roll over the score? Can't remember now. Done! The goblet's still intact. Oh, nice. Switch box. Well, switch box slash RF connector. Similar. Good good game. Yay. Board quest patch. <laughs> not done yet. It's not done yet. So, yep. Good stuff. That, that's cool. Um, some Activision games do, I think. Roll the score. Yeah. Roll the score. Yes, there was one. I can't remember what it is now. Whew, hot. What are we up to? 28. Do you want some more water? Oh, no. You, do you want some ice? The ice has made it taste funny, so really? I would like new water. Okay, That's and possible. ice. Um, no, no ice. Tiny bit of ice, okay. just a tiny I'll bit. So, lots of fun. Um, oh, are you finishing up? Uh, yes, so if you could hang around for just a second. Okay, well, sorry, I'll replace it in a moment. Okay. Yes. <sighs> so, we played Mortal Kombat 2600. Yes. Good start. You can make a little bit of adjustments. Mm -hmm. Add some more things in. I think uh, it looks, it's it's really good some, though. Some screen it rolls. Plays. It's really fun to play. Yep. I like it. it I could like it. Put in some more sound effects so you kind of get more of a... You need more atmosphere somehow. More atmosphere. Yeah. More animation. But I think the and animation the that's there is still pretty cute. <laughs> and although not all the punches are there because you punched and it just didn't do anything. When you're too close, it doesn't work. And you jumped and it didn't change you when you hit the bottom. It just kept your legs in the jump well, mode. Well, you're just in floaty matrix mode. Right? Yeah. So there's a couple of things to, to yeah. correct there. But it's pretty fun to play. It's pretty good. Even with the floaty, I don't mind the floaty jumps all that yeah. much. Yeah, they're still pretty fun. Um, the death um, animations, are, or the deaths really are there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could could have some more frames of animation, like blood spurt or something. <laughs> like, like that. Just funny stuff. Uh, yeah. Scissors, rock, paper card game. Excellent. Yeah, good. Really, really fun, simple, simple game. Simple and fun. It'd be yeah. good for kids. Because Very good they would for kids. Completely understand it. Yeah. And also adept enough that it's you... not a game you have to read either. So if you're a small child, could play that game quite easily. I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, and uh, there is some strategy that you can get into. Yeah. You can do card counting if you want to. <laughs> um, you can watch when they get bonuses. Yeah. You can kind of hold back, try go for triples, get the bonuses. Yeah. Uh, board quest, good start. Yeah. More bonuses, more uh, items, more mini games. Do do these games usually have like opponents or villains or things that will kill you in them? That would be a good addition. So you have to avoid. Yeah. Um, avoid like, something. I don't know. Like the Intellivision comes for you, or. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, right. <laughs> oh no! It's the Intellivision runaway. That's right. <laughs> it's coming after you. <laughs> The Coleco and Intellivision the villains. Coleco and Intellivisions start chasing The crash of 83 is yeah, coming. <laughs> the crash of 83. Could just have an animated 83, 84. <laughs> ah! Going back and forth. 83, 84. 83, 84. <laughs> it just floats. It's like the uh, dragon from Adventure. It just floats from screen to screen. You have to run away. <laughs> the mom comes to get you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dinner time. Dinner time. That would be good. And, it, uh. and then she just resets you to a random room. Yeah. Something yeah. Simple. So you don't die. You just you just get reset. So you could have multiple characters. Yeah, you have something like that. Or, or, uh, the mom resets you. Yeah. You could have the crash. Take something away. Take from something you. away from you. Yeah. And put it into a random room. Yeah. That would be really really good. One of the enemies could be the Intellivision <gasps> Running Man. <laughs> perfect. That's a perfect representation. Yeah. <laughs> what could we do for the Coleco? Oh, we could have the. Uh, oh. We could have the Gingerbread Donkey Kong. That because because sure. Coleco owned the rights to Donkey Kong, but oh. made a version for twenty six hundred, and that version had a very terrible looking Donkey Kong that looked like did. a gingerbread man. Of course it did. And that would be perfect representation of Coleco. <laughs> the Running Man's great for Intellivision. Yeah. Um, 
there there's some great ideas yeah. for for you um yeah curio jimbo yeah uh rick Pryor, who, who sometimes watches the show so i'm sure he'll yeah. he knows that song nice so great stuff um so i'm sure next episode we'll be playing uh uh kicks <laughs> no but john chippo john. is one of those <laughs> one of those people who are like so fast yeah uh bob de crescenzo de crescenzo and and john Champo are like the fastest programmers mm, mm. they they're like hey i'm starting a new game next week it's done or it's like the first really like the uh, first iteration the demos out and you play it and like there's nothing wrong with this <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. that is immediately visible yeah they're so fast oh my god so i'm, I'm expecting that to be fairly quick because mm -hmm. it looks like he's already really far ahead the coleco chameleon, chameleon. <laughs> no it has to be time accurate like to eighty three, eighty four. Well, no, it's this is not eighty three, eighty four. This is the world of PS five. Oh, that's true. So, so it doesn't have to be time accurate. It could just be anything. Well, then it could be modern in television and modern Coleco. Therefore, it could be a chameleon, and it could be an Amico. <laughs> an Amico coming for you. No, they don't need advertising. <laughs> um, true. The Running Man's good enough. They still, I like that. I think that would. Be they fun. still they still use that. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but actually, on. Uh, an after dark. We're gonna do an after dark after this, and it's gonna be uh, viewers' choice. Oh yes, we, you need to put on the uh, voting. I don't have it set up, so I'll do that in the break. So they'll vote. They'll vote at the beginning of yep. the after dark. So you need, you have to stick around so you can yep. vote for the after. Where's dark. the voting? Did it disappear? Oh no! Where did it go? What happened? Is the result there? The result is here. I only see two options, though. But I don't know why it's not on the screen. But I only see two options. Oh, it must have disappeared. Weird. It looks equal. Well, I can tell you what it is. Um, <laughs> That's weird. They look about equal. So, in first place, uh, now I get... Now I'm better. I yeah. get better with age. 35%. 35.7. Uh, number two, uh, tied. About the same. 35.7 which would leave back then out my back 4, is 28.6 28.6 there you so, go so uh, most people are the same or better yeah that's it's good pretty equal spread though oh. i'm definitely three out my back <laughs> oh Ow you would have put back. it uh, would... actually some things some things i'm better at so yeah. it kind of just depends on the game i think yeah yeah could be the new Atari VCS anger that you're... You're dredging you. up your old 26. That could be it, too. Yeah. <laughs> could be like the Atari coin or whatever, they, whatever they're doing. Mm. Did you know that these stacked? The Act Activision games? No. They stick together? Yeah. How? They've got little ridges. Oh, they don't They don't actually... Oh, I thought you had them click. No, they, like... they click. Slide them. Slide them. They actually click. No, but they still just no. sit. Yeah. Yeah, but they aren't going to fall over. See, that's smart. Yeah. That I like anything. I like smart design, and yep. that's smart design. So these are only two of the that's games uh, that I have out. So I'm going to dig out the rest of them okay. in the break. Okay. Yeah, very smart cartridge design. Yeah. And very smart game design too. I like too. that. Oh, because there's indents and ridges. That's why. So they actually do sit in. Yeah. They don't fall off of shelves. And yeah. Um, so on Tuesday, we're planning to do an 8-bit day with the Atari 8, 8, XEGS because okay. the last show, I got the last squadron mm, in the mail. Yes, 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 yes. So we're yes. going to be playing uh, an 8-bit game yep. on cartridge. So we're going to be doing 8-bit homebrews. Um, River Raid? Mm -hmm. River mm. Raid. River Raid doesn't River have... Raid? Patch, you played River Raid. Oh, yeah, I did. I must have. Let me I see. I think so. Uh, That's a good game. River Raid. Yes, I earned it uh, July 5th, 2019. So that one is off the board. Mm. So I'll go over again um, so you guys can think about it, but I'll put up the poll. Not all these will be options. Options. Uh, crackpots, that will be an option. Decathlon, probably not because that'll be a long one. Dolphin, no, because we just played it and it's torturous. Yeah. Uh, dragster, <laughs> possibly, probably. We play Dragster, haven't we? Uh, no, we play Grand Prix. 
I don't think we played Dragster. Dragster is when you blow up your engine. You go, oh. dun, dun, dun. it takes five seconds to do a run. Oh. You actually have to get it in six seconds or less. Wow. No, maybe not. It's very fast and very hard. Uh, enduro. Uh, I think that's long. I don't know. I think that's a long one. Uh, Grand Prix driving team. I'll put that one up. We've tried it before. It's, uh, remember, it's the pattern. Up, down, up, down, up, down, through the mud and stuff. Mm. Hero. Yeah, we could try Hero again. That's hard. Kaboom. We'll put up Kaboom as well. Laser Blast. Nobody has answered how long Laser Blast takes uh, to get 100,000. Mm. Just look on a YouTube. Let's actually look for it right now. Because then I can say definitively whether we will play it or not. Let's see. Laser Blast Patch. Uh, oh, there we go. 100,000 point patch run. Uh, the whole video is 29 minutes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Watch your ears. And I'm sure this is a whole run onto itself. Yep. Okay. So that's a half an hour. Okay. To play. So this is all based on and time. It's super tedious, <laughs> and it's super tedious, and nobody will watch. Oh. So we probably won't play that. Like it's terrible. You, you, we will have to have a like twenty-four hour super tedious Activision patch challenge marathon. One we'll leave day. those to the end. <laughs> Pitfall two, which yep, yeah, we could do that. Definitely. Mm. Private Eye. I have no idea about that game. Mm. So we might put that one up. Robot Tank. That will be a hard one. Space Shuttle, not putting that up. Star Master, we've already got one of those. So we're probably not going to put that up. Okay. So that's what it is. Just saw a vid where one guy got a 100,000 score in under 24 minutes. Yeah, I can see that. If this person got it in uh, 29, and you just do it faster. Because you can go yeah. boom, 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 boom. Of course, that will not be me. Yeah. So hang around, but we're going to say who is here. Carl G, Arena Yay. Foot, Crossbow, Nostalgic, 26, Target 2600, Dude, Crossbow again, uh, 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 Charles Wheeland, Charles Reese, The D Train, Mike Soul, Adam H, 9700, welcome. Yes. I think you're new. Yeah. Don't know. Uh,. Nostalgic, if you haven't said already. I think so. Metal Lunar. Mike Soul. You said Mike Soul. Ricardo Pym. Pull Matt Bot, no. Pull Matt Bot. <laughs> Hi, Bot. Uh, uh, Miss Command. Uh, yeah, scrolling up, getting up Catherine there. Catherine 2D. It felt very short, actually. What time is it? Oh, it's not even eight. Yeah, but we did. They were short. They were late. short games. They were very short. Machine games. made a patch for blinds. Yeah, I, I didn't include the homebrew patches. Mm. Um, oh, Prowl. There we go. Yay. So, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Ten minutes? I'm going to make it 15. Okay. Because I do have to dig some things out. Okay. Um, and then we'll be back on Tuesday for people who don't want to watch me get a patch. <laughs> you can. You don't have to. Yeah. Um, but you don't want to vote. See which one you'll make me yeah. play. Don't torture yourself, Jane. <laughs> no, it's not me torturing myself. It's you torturing me. <laughs> Um, so thanks for uh, sticking around and enjoying the show mm -hmm. and we'll be back very shortly mm -hmm. bye 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 time for the good music yep <laughs>